Hi, my name is Shane Ortega. I'm a retired staff sergeant. I serve the United States Marine Corps and the United States Army. My name is Irene Caldera. I served with the Army. Um, deployment was 2012 and 13. I'm Stephen Mortensen, uh, U.S. Army, 5th Engineer Battalion, Charlie Company. I am Timothy William Howard. I served in the uh, United States Marine Corps. I'm Stacy Barker. I um, served in the Idaho Army National Guard. I'm Matt Crumwoody. I'm uh, from Pocatello, Idaho, and I, was, uh, I served in the Army. We bring together this group of veterans from all across the U.S. here to beautiful Pocatello, and the first thing we do is outfit them in brand new top-of-the-line gear. We went and got outfitted, got some really sweet new skis and boards. After we get all the veterans geared up, we grab some food, head straight to the mountain. When you're around a group of people that have been through what you've been through in some sort of way, um, it gives you a meaning and gives you like a feeling of community that you don't really get on a, a daily basis back home. So for other veterans, I definitely recommend you challenge yourself and challenge the space that you're existing in currently. I think that if you decide to come out and do an athletic event, that you're going to gain not only um, you know reestablishment of your own confidence, but you're also going to gain a skill set that you can always do. You know, one of the things that I think all veterans that I've ever met, combat veterans, you know, ones that never left behind the wire or anything, they always say that you can never find that internal piece. And internal peace really does come when you have that aligned mind, body, spirit moment. And I think that you can gain that here by learning these different skill sets. For me, that was skiing. Well, now you have an activity that has commonality and can translate to another group of veterans that you could do with them to have that same sort of quiet space and challenge yourself. And so, you know, if, if your soul has been searching for something and you, can't, and you haven't quite found what it is, maybe this might be the thing that helps you get to that place of uh, healing. And so that's why I definitely recommend it. So the best thing about having the veterans here for two weeks is you get to see them progress from not knowing anything all the way up to as far as they will take it. We've seen them get on the hill and fall. We've seen some get on the hill and make it down the bunny hill in the first try. It's fun to watch them grow and progress and it's really rewarding to <laughs> see how far they take it and then even after they leave. Sean walked me through even just the little fundamentals, he was really patient with me, I wiped out a ton. I work on my own stuff and I love it. it uh, yesterday was the best because I've already gotten down basically the fundamentals and now I'm pushing through and perfecting it. It was just awesome. And the patience, oh my lord, the patience. I wouldn't have the patience to be able to do this. You guys are freaking amazing. From day one, I mean, everyone shows up, and at first, you know, it's like an awkward stage, yeah. just getting to know everyone. But as skills improve, and you know, those bonds start to form, pretty soon everyone's ripping all over the mountain. 
and it's a lot like the type of camaraderie that we experience in the military. Uh, we basically become one big shred family. Yeah! I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> At the support of everybody on the team. I mean, I was never left behind. Um, I had a lot of help getting up. Um, so it was definitely a great experience. to try this program, get out of my realm, I don't have a winter hobby, and um, they really helped me get out of my bubble, it was kind of in a dark spot. I didn't ever think I would be a winter sport person, but it really helped me, um, and I'm going to continue to do so. You know, for us as a crew, when these classes come out for these two weeks, we always say that, you know, it's the best two weeks of our life as well. Um, not only, you know, do we get to teach these veterans the, the lasting, you know, skills, you know, up on the mountain. It goes far beyond um, up on the mountain. We uh, we love to uh, uh, get an aspect into our world, um, you know, here in Southeast Idaho.
Hey, my name is John Samp, uh, retired Air Force. Uh, probably had the most fun in the fourth SOS AC 130s Spookies. How y'all doing? I'm Russell Davies, founder of PTSD Veteran Athletes. Just want to give a huge shout out to all the vets who participated in this year's skiing and snowboarding class. You absolutely crushed it and I can't wait to see you out on the mountain some more. I'd also like to give you a handful of shout outs to East Fork Bikes, Barry Ski and Sports, our local Pebble Creek Ski Resort. We really couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you so, so much for making this class a success. And also to Columbia Sportswear, Smith Optics, Sago Skis, The Sandpiper, Devon Garden Theobald, uh, Targhee, Pomerel, you guys also contribute so much. If you're a veteran looking to participate in one of our future classes, or just someone looking to volunteer or contribute in any way, please find us at www.ptsdveteranathletes.com.